Hi friends, welcome to my channel Agricultural Sciences. This is Alok Devedi. So today we will discuss on a topic Agricultural Sciences. So our topic will be the grading of eggs. So first of all, we will discuss about the determination of grading. How we determine the grade of eggs. So they are determined basically from the two ways externally and internally. Basically done for the commercial purposes as to inflate their prices. Eggs are supervised by grading them as well as from those textures, size and color of the shell. Grades are designated as double A standard, A standard and B grade of X. And they are processed under the some high equipment, facilities and sanitation and operating procedures which are directly or continuously monitored by the egg graders. So now we will talk about the grading of X externally. So the factors responsible for the external examination of an X, they are cleanliness, soundness, texture and shape. Egg must not contain any stains for the cleanliness factor. In the soundness, mildly unsound or the flawed cells are classified as restricted eggs. If you talk about the textures, abnormal cells permitted for the grade B eggs and maybe decidedly mishappen or the faulting structure with ridges, a thin spots or the rough areas they are restricted eggs. They are, these are the some points which lower the grades of egg. So the shape must be the ideal shape of an egg is oval. Now we will talk about the grading of eggs internally. So the grading of eggs internally can be done by the candling by breakout method using the half unit system to evaluate the albumin, yolk and air cell basically not done in the commercial processing so ha Raymond half gave this unit in 1973 so albumin is just on the basis of clarity and the firmness or thickness of the albumin so if we talk about the yolk, yolk must not contain any foreign bodies or the discoloration of yolk whenever the egg is rotated over the candling light its yolk swings toward the cell so these are some measures which can be determined to grade an X internally. So factors determining the yolk quality are distinctness of outline, size and size and the absence of such defects as a blemish or mottling, embryo development or the blood spots. An egg must have some qualities. So what are they? We will discuss here. High grade of eggs have cellular air cells. You might have seen at the lower surface of an egg, you have some semi-circular shape. Whenever you boil an egg, you get, you just observe the egg from the flat surface, where from the lower portion, you will find an air sac. Why that? Why what? What determines that factor? That factor determines the age of an egg. So in grade double A eggs, the air cell may not exceed one by eight inch in the depth, whereas the grade A X must not exceed 3 by 16 inch of depth. So there is no limit on the air cell size for the grade B X while air cell size is considered in grading X taken air as the age. So the size of an air cell does not necessarily relate to the freshness because size varies from the moment of the contraction occur after laying. To judge the freshness use the cartoon dates mentioned in the crates and air cells, blood spots in the yolk, breakout method, use half method for the protein, percentage and inspection acts. Thank you friends for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.